I have a question. Is salvation for the whole world? Yes. Right. Okay. I mean, hey, let's go. Let's go into it. Is salvation for the whole world? First of all, we have to understand. Ask ourselves a question. What is salvation? Says, let me ask you. What is salvation? What What is salvation? Now, right. Listen. Salvation means to be saved. Now. The brothers already brought it out, but first thing we have to understand, this book right here called the Bible, the Holy Bible, is not for all nations. Therefore, if you have brains, you would log logically think salvation is not for everybody, but the pastor tells you otherwise. Now let me show you who salvation is for. Bring it out! Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 68. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, of the whole world, of Israel. See, that's the first thing we have to understand. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The God of the Bible is the only the God of Israel. Give me, give me that in uh, Amos. Amos. See, you don't know the Bible, but the prophets are here and we are going to teach you, thus said the law. It says, bless me the Lord God of Israel. It says, listen carefully, because the pastors are cheating you out of your money. They are thieves. You get it? Read. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought from the land of Egypt, saying... So God is saying he has, he's speaking something against the children of Israel that he brought out of the land of Egypt, out of slavery, just like you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are in your slavery today. Read verse 2. You only, you what? You only. Sis, what does only mean? How do you say only in a, a, a Dutch? Dutch. A la, like a liner? A lion. A lion. A lion, a liner man. It's not a liner. That's the savage father. Okay? Alone. You only meaning you alone have I known. Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Do you hear that? God is saying out of all the nations on this planet, he only knows the Israelites. That is you to call blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the children of the slave trade. Read. Therefore, uh -huh. I will punish you for all your iniquities. And because God only knows one nation, that's why every time we sin, we have to go through this. That's why every time when we sin, we have to go through this. That's right. Because we have a contract with God, and the contract stipulates if we keep His commandments, this earth is going to have peace. If we don't, we will have to go through this. Tell me any other nations that goes in and out of slavery like we do. There is no other nation. Why? Because God only knows us. Now, put it down, put it down. Now, go back to Luke. Go back to Luke. So, the God of Israel. We, we have est uh, established God only knows the Israelites. Thus, he is the God of Israel. He only deals with the Israelites, though he created all nations. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Now listen, I'm going to say something for the people passing by. If you think you know God, if you think you love God, come and let's talk. We don't bite. Or listen. Stand somewhere and listen. Read it. For he had visited and redeemed his people. You hear that? So it says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed who? His people. The whole world. His people. Yeah. Everybody that believes. His people. See, it's simple comprehension. <laughs> his people. It's possessive. Is the whole world his people? Matthew 2 6. Matthew 2 6. We are breaking down the scripture in bits like you're feeding a baby. Bring it up. Cut the meat 
out in bits so everybody can understand it. It says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. We have established God only deals with the Israelites, which is you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hey, young man, bro, do you know Christ is a black man according to the Bible? Did you know? Ah, right, man, see, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead, go ahead. I got something for them later on. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. That shall rule my people. Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. Hey, can I get a Joshua 6? Who? Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. You hear that? Read. There's the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 69. Uh -huh. And had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. For us, possessive. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Because from Genesis to Revelation, you are nowhere going to find a contradiction that salvation is for you, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hey, as a matter of fact, I have a question. I want somebody, somebody who's not been listening. Who's up for a question? Who thinks they're intelligent? Nobody? Right then, I'll throw it out there. So, here's a scenario. Let's say I'm a cop, I'm a police, police, yeah? And I see somebody raping a woman. Who do I save? Let me ask you, sir, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, yeah? Get short. So, say I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer. That's good. So, no, 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 let's say it. I am a police officer, right? And I see somebody raping a woman. Who do I say? So, I'm, po I'm a police officer. You can translate the Netherlands. I'm a police agent. I'm a police agent, zeg maar. And I see a man die een vrouw verkracht. Wie gaat je redden? Wie zou je redden? Say what did he say? Uh huh. See, he, thank you very much. You're intelligent. Yeah. So, he, like he said, he would save the woman and kick away the dude. Guess what? We are being oppressed. We, as a nation of people, are being raped and pillaged. Bring it out. So, you you would be very yeah, bye. You would be very very foolish to think that God is going to save the raper, the rapist and the one who's been raped. You must be out of your mind. You must be stupid. I'm telling you. It does not add up. It does not add up. How, sis, 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 look at me, look at me. How are you going to save the one who's doing the crime with the one who the crime is being committed on? One has to be punished. One has to be punished, sis. Do you understand that? Wait, sis, translate it. One has to be punished. One person must be responsibility to take. And one person must be punished for what he has done. You understand that thing, sis? It's logic. So read it again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we, the who? That we, the who? That we, the we is the Israelites, we should be saved. Should be what? Should be saved. Sis, are you paying attention? Sister. You're paying attention. The question was, who is salvation for? Is salvation for the whole world? We've come to the point where it's telling, yep, where it's telling you that we should be saved. The word salvation is root word, is saved. Salvation means being saved. You know? That we should be saved from who? From our enemies. And who? And from the hand of all that hate us. Do you understand, sis? Do you understand? It is hatred for somebody to tell you that this 
is Christ, even though the Bible says Christ is a black man. It is hatred. They are not your friends if they do that. The pastor will not tell you, but he will play music for you and take your money. We are here to tell you the truth. You understand that thing? Salvation is only for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The children of the slave trade. Because you have been suffering. Is it done? All right, now, since you had another question. Who is the Holy Spirit? Right, let's stick with the topic. I'll come to the Holy Spirit. Let's stick with this worldwide. Right, now, I want you to give me the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Bring it out. Bring it out. I want to write this a little bit. Who is salvation for? Who is salvation for? Read. In the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29, uh -huh. then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Says, it's logical, right? We have to obey God rather than men, right? Read. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. See, it's possessive again. It says, the God of our fathers. It doesn't say the God of the whole world. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Read. Whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Whom we slew and hanged on a tree. How? Just the same way our brothers and sisters are slaying us today. You know how? Simple. Hey, come get some small knowledge. Come take a flare. Oh no, I don't have time. Then they go. Man, you are you don't know what you're doing right there. You are slaying right there. We sis, sis, it's two. Tell me it's two prayers. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Verse 31. Him had God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. And a what? And a savior. Says, did you hear that? So Christ was chosen as a prince and a what? Savior. For salvation, you need a savior. That's right. We know that salvation, the people who are going to be saved is what? The Israelites. But now he says, Christ was a savior for what? For to give repentance to Israel. To the whole world. To Israel! Joshua 6, Joshua 6, to who? To Israel! To who? To Israel! To who? To Israel! Sis, this is the Holy Bible that we are reading. It's very simple. Salvation is for Israel. That is you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Indians. Sis, where are you on the set? Where are you? Can you find yourself here? Where are you from? Yes, salvation for your soul. But what did the Bible just say? For Israel. Oh, watch out. For Israel. Meaning what? For the soul of the Israelites. You understand? What did the Bible just say? That's what I said. Well, you can read it for yourself. I have a question for you. Sis, what, what's your name? What's your name, sis? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Check, check this, I have a question for you then, yeah? I have a question for both of you. Give me Re Revelation chapter 22. I want, no, no, not 22, uh, 21, 12. <laughs> yeah. Listen carefully. Salvation means what? Get into the kingdom. We don't want to be in the golden city, don't we? Yes, sir. Well, let's see. This is the book of Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. Bring and had a wall, great and high. So this is talking about the kingdom of heaven. It says the kingdom of heaven has a wall that is great and high. Read. And had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. Listen, the kingdom of heaven, gets what it The kingdom of heaven has how many gates? 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. Says, why 12 gates? Why does the kingdom of heaven have 12 gates? Let's find out. We and at the gates, 12 angels. And at the gates, how many angels? 12 angels. Says, at the kingdom of heaven, there are 12 gates and 12 angels guarding each and every single gate. We and names written their own. See, now we have names that is written on the gates of the kingdom of heaven. We, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Get your sins, which are what? The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. You hear that? Sis, sis, so if salvation is for everybody, which gates are you going to go through us? Where are you from? Where are you from? Says where are you from? South Africa. The gate, the name, the, is 
have 12 names, yeah? 12 gates, 12 angels, 12 names. Where is South Africa written on it? That's why you have to find out where you are from. You are from the tribe of Judah. That's right. The same tribe that Christ comes from. The black Messiah. That is deceiver. This is a deceiver. And then, see, people are scared of the Antichrist. Give me, give me Revelation 49. Somebody lift this up real quick. I know, two minutes. Hey, listen, listen. This year, this this year right here, everybody's waiting for the Antichrist. This is the Antichrist. Sis, don't get confounded now, because Christ warned us. Let's let's get it. Revelation no, Revelation 49. Give me Revelation 49. So you, that's why you have to understand and find out that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Because if you don't know the description of Christ in the Bible, you might just be worshiping Satan without knowing it. Listen, it says, says, says. Let's let's hear the Bible. How about that? The Bible is gonna bring it out, sis. See, I look, look, you can deny Christ all you want, sis. That's you. Read. Revelation 1 14, then not 10 5 to 6, Revelation 2 18. We'll get there right after this. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there right after this. Okay, just a minute. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, did you hear that? It says, says, did you hear that? It says, The third angel gave us a warning. He said, If any man worships the beast and his image, we and we see his mark in his forehead. The mark of the beast is democracy. Christianity, for example, teaches democracy. We, or in his heart, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. See, see, listen. Sis, don't run away. Your spirit is confounded. Just wait and you're going to get your scripture. If you worship the image of the beast, you are going to get damnation. How will you know it? Give me my 414. Mark 414. And then we come to Revelation and show you the image of Christ. And Mark 414. I'm going to show you. Sis, sis. Check this out, yeah? Check this out. I'm going to show you something. Read. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 14. The sower soweth the word. So we are the sower. We are sowing the word of God. Since we came here, we've been speaking nothing but the Bible. Read. And these are dead. By the wayside, where the word is sown, but when they are heard, Satan cometh immediately. You see, you see that? When you heard the word, Satan came immediately and then what? And take it away the word that was sown in their hearts. And try to take away the word, sis, 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 sister, sister from South Africa. Satan came and tried to take away the word that was sown in your heart, which is your mind. How? Because the minute that it was brought out that this is the Antichrist, she ran away. She ran away the minute she found out this is the Antichrist. That lets you know who she worships, Antichrist. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.